with the jolly old lads on Twitter talking about today in the never-ending and always civilized discourse of the Thomas and Friends fandom. Excuse me, what the f- Processed wood and plastic isn't usually in my diet, but I've heard they're good for protein. Still, I think I'll pass. Well, okay then. What's your emergency? Hello, uh, I've just been ambushed by a wooden toy train magically appearing in my toilet. Sir, get a life. Nobody believes me. But I know where to find someone who does. Alright, what did you have to do with the mysterious appearances of the Dodge? I don't know. I'm just Matt the Cat, you know. Nothing special here. Do I look suspicious to you? <gasps> Answer me! Where were you on the night of the 38th? I, I, I told you, I don't know! Dude, you're talking to a stuffed animal. Oh, yeah. That is pretty weird, huh? Yeah, you should probably get your head checked, man. Wait, what? I'm the only talking cat around here you should be conversing with. Man, I really am losing it, aren't I? Not this time. You've tormented me for the last time. And you're gonna pay. You're gonna pay! <laughs>
What do you want from me? What do you want from me? Well, we just want you to do a review on us, Vincent. Oh, really? Yep, we saw all the other great reviews you did on the other engines and wanted to get in on the action. Oh, gee, now I, now I kind of feel bad about killing you all those times. No, that wasn't me. That was one of the clones. Uh, what? With the many clones we, we had to make in order to get you to do a review. Wait, wait. Is there more than one of you? You ready? Just just stop for a second. You're, you're making me giddy. Hello everybody, Vinzette22 here, and I'm back with you for another Thomas Wooden Railway review. Now, there has been some confusion and delay recently with the announcement of a new toy range to be compatible with Trackmaster and to replace Adventures, bringing the big three down to the, uh, more or less about medium-sized, uh, one. Now, to combat all that, today we're going to be going back to a simpler time, and I'm going to be reviewing the one, the only, Splodge. Actually, it's it's Splatter and, and Dodge. No, I'm, I'm doing the freaking review here. Can you just? Can yeah, you well, just... we're we're in the review, yeah, so I just, think we should have some sick ones. Fine. Splatter and Dodge. Okay, let's actually get this thing started. Splatter and Dodge were characters introduced in the 2000 film Thomas and the Magic Railroad. The film was critically met with overwhelming dislike, according to Wikipedia. Later that year, they were introduced as models in the Thomas Wooden Railway range in an exclusive gift pack. The next year, they were released on their own. In the film, Splatter and Dodge acted as sidekicks to the main antagonist, Diesel 10, but by the end, they deserted him, not wanting to work with him and his schemes anymore. The toys are great. They're both made from the same mold, but they both have unique faces and paint jobs. I think they did a really good job with the faces on these guys. They're both really unique and different from each other and other faces in the range. As for the color, Splatter is a lovely shade of purple and Dodge is a kind of dingy green. I always like how their names somewhat kind of matched with their, their paint jobs. Like, you know, Dodge is kind of more of a, a dusty and dirty, you know, diesel. Whereas Splatter's purple paint job is kind of a, a splatter of color. It's got a bit of a mnemonic thing. It could work for some people. You know, it could not. Here's something that's kind of interesting about the paint jobs of these two. If you look at uh, Dodge, you'll notice that he's got like the pea green cab and a little bit on his side and, you know, behind the face. And then he's got a gray running board and a gray roof and, you know, main gray sides. But if you look at Splatter, he's also got some on his roof as well as his running board. I mean, it's kind of a stretch, but why did Splatter have the extra color and Dodge not? I mean, if Dodge did, it would probably make him a lot cooler, in my opinion. Splatter and Dodge were discontinued in 2003, making them extremely rare, given that they had only been around it for a year as singles and only two years before as a special edition gift pack. This caused people to pay outrageous prices on eBay for them, only for them to be re-released a couple years later.
Don't remind me. In 2011, Learning Curve reintroduced Splatter and Dodge to coincide with the year's special, Day of the Diesels. No real correlation there, but uh, there is a rumor that they were supposed to come back in Day of the Diesels, but uh, don't tell anyone I told you. Anyway, uh, I saw them in person a few times at my local Thomas Wooden Railway store and at a Day Out with Thomas event, but I failed to pick them up. However, because of the re-release, uh, nowadays you can find them for actually really cheap on eBay, and I so I picked up my pair not too long ago. The only real difference between the 2001 version and the 2011 re-release is they removed the classic uh, little ledge on the back thing, the freaking ledge. Yeah, I guess. Rest in peace, I suppose. I don't know if anyone really cared about the ledge, but it's gone now. When certain items are limited release, uh, sometimes they come up in weird places. I encountered this uh, at the beginning of the year, where I went to his thrift store, and they had about 14 new in-box dodges for really cheap, and I bought them all, because why not? It was a good story, and it made a good review. Some of those, obviously, I can't sell. Uh, for obvious reasons. I, overall, I'd probably give these about an 8 out of 10. They're cool, nothing too special, but I'm glad I did actually have the chance to review these. And this was all, uh, this guy's idea, so, uh, thanks to him. God, what am I doing? I'm talking to you know what just roll the credits this week has been a huge waste of my time Jethro? Thomas? Wait, who's Jethro? The universe is in danger. I've got to find more gold dust! My family told me, as long as there's Thomas, there's harmony. You'll never have to worry. <laughs> yeah, right. Thomas as we know it is dead. Anyway, what was all that about gold dust that has no relevance on the situation at all? I just must be losing it again. Huh. <laughs>